What is up, people? So we now have reason to believe that NCRT textbooks are getting horribly bad, presenting pseudoscience and science textbooks on the way to becoming like that textbook I showed you uh, that was apparently from Pakistan. Regarding that textbook, I'll come back to NCRT soon, but regarding that textbook and the video I made on that, I'm not sure. I even say this in the video that I'm not sure which educational board this is from or if all textbooks in Pakistan are like this. I did get some comments claiming to be from uh, Pakistan saying they've never seen a textbook like this. I did get another comment saying it's from the Khyber Board of Education, which I was able to verify as a Pakistani board. However, I was not able to check if uh, this was a textbook from them despite doing that research. But if anyone has information on that, I would appreciate if you let me know. Although I do say in the video that I this is unverified information. Uh, I did see some uh, comments saying that I'm trying to create propaganda against educational boards in Pakistan, which is not definitely not what I'm trying to do. And I'm not trying to create any sort of propaganda against NCRT with this video. I am going to show both news articles on this and uh, the NCRT website and the PDF of the book itself that makes these pseudoscientific claims. So don't go around calling this propaganda. Now, we've been hearing for some time about uh, NCRT and evolution, dropping evolution, periodic table, Pythagoras theorem, all these things in the name of uh, trying to lessen the burden on students and trying to reduce the amount of load on students, whatever shit that is. These are vital things. The entire fields are based upon the idea of evolution. We don't have any of modern medicine if we don't have evolution. We don't have math without the Pythagorean theorem and we don't have chemistry, any of chemistry without uh, the periodic table. Yes, this is information you can learn online, you can find online, but there are many concepts like in the periodic table, you have, uh, by the way, you can look up this article. This is from uh, Frontline. You can check it out. The periodic table, although on the surface level, uh, it's a, a list of elements to be memorized. You understand a lot of things about uh, electrons and properties of elements down the column and across the row and why that is so, like electrons and shells and configurations. You learn about all that along with the periodic table. So removing the periodic table doesn't help you in any way. Uh, need, same goes for evolution. I've made a video on that, the Pythagorean theorem, all these things. I do suspect, although I'm not sure, I do suspect this is a move to try and bring uh, Indian Vedic knowledge and religious ideas and also pseudoscientific knowledge into uh, textbooks. Uh, I do feel this is a precursor step to that, which is which would mean we are on the way to being like that textbook I showed you in the uh, Pakistani textbook video. Now, what information do I have uh, other than just these articles? Let's look at the NCRT textbook itself. You go to this one. Uh, this is the NCIT website. Uh, you can go to ncit.nic.in and you can find this. You go to this link and uh, you will actually write here in the introduction. My bad. My camera is blocking this. I'll move myself to this side. Sorry about that. But you can see the textbook credits Vaimanika Shastra for science of aeronautics. We had flying vehicles in those days, it says. What the hell is this? And uh, I think, uh, yeah, the textbook throughout calls it Bharat, which is not a huge deal. But uh, yeah, it's uh, trying to kiss up to Modi over here. Uh, in many parts and uh, yeah, I think that makes it very biased like it's giving information in a very biased manner like anyone who doesn't already cater to these biases or is already biased this way is able to see this uh, but that's what's been going on. Yeah, man, I'm really scared for the uh, state of education in this country and yes, this does call for a longer video uh, which I'll do on the main channel regarding the state of education in the country. I did forget to mention one thing. So all these things are not really part of textbooks. These are modules that the NCIT has released. Now these are the modules. 
that the NCRT has released and they're like uh, parallel to the lectures the teachers are supposed to present these in class so I'm I'm not sure how much of these will eventually uh, make its way into the, the actual textbooks and the curriculum but yeah these are modules and this is information I actually got from uh, someone a teacher who does teach uh, using these NCRT textbooks so uh, it's starting to get really biased and I'm scared it's going down the same path as those Pakistani textbooks now uh, yeah I'm not uh, very sure about those textbooks either like uh, I don't have information despite searching I don't have inf information on where they're from so if you don't know about those tell me in the comments below but uh, yeah this NCRT thing, I just showed you actual evidence, uh, stuff from the NCRT website itself. Uh, yeah, man. These are textbooks I learned from back in school. Uh, and this is what's happening. So, <laughs> don't know what to think, but what do you think? Let me know below. And that's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.